What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Thomas Roscoe Music. I just wanted to go ahead and shoot a quick follow-up video uh, to my first hands-on video. In that video I mentioned that I was having issues with the fader control to where I would move it all the way up and in Logic it would only register to like a third of the way. I called tech support, um, I tried reading through the manual which there's not really an official manual out for the mini yet so I was going off of the 25 key and that seems to be working fine for most things. I did the latest firmware update and to no avail, this was just still broken. I couldn't figure anything out. So somebody commented and even when talking to tech support, it said it sounds kind of like it's a logic issue. Like you need to adjust some values in logic. So I dug into logic and started looking around at values. I went to the controller assignment parameters and by default, um, it defaults the fader value from zero. So even though like, if you can see this, it's going from zero to 127. In Logic, it defaults these faders from zero to 64. So that's why I wasn't getting full uh, fader control. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go through the whole setup, set it up as a Mackie HUI device. There's uh, actually step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that uh, on the M Audio website. And one thing that I noticed, I don't know if this is an issue, I mentioned this in my last video, I don't know if this is an issue with just my mini, but I'm kind of thinking that uh, you don't have the option to select PC or Mac with the mini because that option just doesn't show up at all in the global settings. I mentioned it to tech support and this is such a new product that <laughs> um, they're still not even sure. They don't even have a manual for it. So they've been trying to help me the best they can and they've been very helpful and uh, very responsive, easy to get a hold of, good customer support so far. Um, the last gentleman I spoke with gave me his personal email address and said, if you need anything, just email me. We'll figure this out. So I jumped into Logic. Now what you're gonna wanna do, this is just a quick quick fix video on how to fix the fader issue if you're having the same issue. If you're using Logic and you get the same problem, which you probably will, because the default from zero to 64, like I mentioned. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna hit Shift Option K, and that's gonna bring up your controller assignments. Now, from here, you're just gonna, I'm gonna move this fader, make sure that you're in the right bank because you can bank through faders. You have four faders, uh, but I think you have like four banks here uh, to switch through. So you essentially have like 16 faders. Anyways, um, so once you get your controller assignments open, I'm gonna move this fader here and it'll automatically pull up channel one fader. And you're gonna come down here and this minimum to maximum is gonna be set from zero to 64. Just change the value to 127, which is the max. And now, as I see it's all the way up, I'm gonna move the fader all the way down. You have complete fader control. It's working correctly now. So I went through all of the banks and I adjusted all of them from 64 to 127. So now it's working correctly. Everything is working the way that it should. Uh, one thing that I did want to mention, which is not directly related to this subject, is that somebody had commented on the last video and asked if um, note repeat, if note repeat worked with chord mode. Uh, I said yes, I was wrong. It actually does not work. It's note repeat only works with single notes. So you have to hold this down, press a note, and then it repeats the note. Uh, another comment, I'm just kind of addressing some of the questions that were in the comments. If you have more questions, please comment and I'll do my best to answer them and to go through the manual and talk with tech support, whatever I can to help you guys out. I just want to make sure that you're getting something that you love. I do love this product. It's not the best. The key feel feels good, um, but it's not the best. There are better key beds out there. Somebody said, can you stop the tempo light from blinking? I said I doubt it, but I did some more research into it. And actually, if you hold the tempo, um, you can change. Hold on, let me try to focus here. You can change the tempo clock from internal, sorry, to external. And once you pick external, the tempo light goes off and stops blinking. Sometimes it's solid, sometimes it's off. I don't know, but from external, uh, the tempo is mapping or communicating with logic now. So. That's how you do that. If you have any other questions, please comment below. I'm gonna to try to get more videos out. I haven't had a whole lot of time uh, to mess with this and to really dive real deep into the features, 
but the little that I have used it, I've really enjoyed it. I have a new song coming out uh, on August 28th. It's actually a cover of No Dignity. No Dignity, sorry, I kind of slurred that. Um, and I use this to produce it. So you can check that out. Thomas Roscoe, look me up on Spotify. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. All right, you guys have a good one and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.